Hi everyone. Today we are gonna work on OpenAI APIs. So we can create a whole chat app by using OpenAI APIs. So we'll see how that easy it is and all. So let's check what are the APIs they are giving. And yeah, there are two packages they are giving actually for uh, both Node.js and Python. So I'm not going to use this kind of packages because uh, if you see they are, they are uh, API references, the REST API they are providing better to use for our chat APIs. So yeah, let's check how it is working and all. So see, this is the endpoint they are providing. And if, if we create a authorization key, for our app, then it will be easy to use uh, their endpoints for our uh, requirements and all. So yeah, let's get into it. So before uh, we are going to write an APIs and all, uh, I'm just letting you go through these things. So if you are not aware, just go there, platform.openai.com doc slash docs API reference slash chat and all. So uh, here uh, you're seeing how the APIs they are uh, giving and uh, what are the APIs available to use as free uh, for fun, you know, as we are using now. So uh, there are a lot, if you see. So for images, uh, for embeddings, audios, files, fine tunes, etc. And if you have your own models for uh, AI, then, also, then you can use that as well for that uh, for those APIs and all. So let us get into it. Uh, I'll go through one of the APIs which is mostly used on ChatGPT. So that uh, we'll see how ChatGPT give us an answer. So we can use the same. So if you want to use that API uh, on your website or on your uh, applications, you can go as well. Uh, there is a limitation. There are limitations. You will have to uh, check their terms and conditions and all. But uh, yeah, now uh, we can use. Uh, let me go through that. Let me create an application first. Uh, I'll use Node.js always. Let me create an app name. Call it as Test Chat Two because I've created Test Chat One before. Uh, go through this. Uh, oh. Okay, now it is created. NPM minute test chat to yeah. Okay, description chat GPT on node. I can call it as it is. Uh, I used to use app.js as a entry point. Test command, there is no test command. Git repository, I didn't create it. Keywords, I'm not gonna use it. I am the author. Okay, license, there is no license, let it as it is. Okay, yes. Okay, so uh, now we have it created a package.json. Let's init it as a version controlling system. So yeah, it will be in on green and let's do one thing. What are the files we are gonna ignore for git? Git ignore, all right. Let's give node modules. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the chat CPTs and open AI's NPM package. So I don't need it uh, to access their endpoints. So I'm not gonna install them, but I need some of other packages to establish it, which are like Axios to make HTTP requests and dot env to access the environment variables. Uh, uh, that is fine. So this is more than enough for me. Okay, so I'll have to uh, use uh, some other dev dependencies. Uh, let you know, npm i babel core babel cli babel node Table reset in as a dev dependencies because I used to use 
uh, some of the latest uh, JavaScript uh, syntax, you know, so imports and as well as, well as uh, other things as well. So to access them, I'll have these things. So let's install them as well. Right. So node modules are uh, ignored by Git and have these things. So let's just create table. Reset and superb. Uh, then what we need to do is dot env. We'll come to this part later on. Let's check if our app is working good. App.js just write a simple JS code. Let's run it, but it is not going to run because I haven't given any running commands. So let's have this. I used to use the same command for most files. I'll explain what these lines are. So here I use start command for start script, you know, so for production applications, again, uh, another uh, script, which is for uh, the development uh, thing. So I'll run it and let it know. So I use Nodemon to make our application listening for uh, if, if there is any file changes happening whenever we are developing. Okay, so npm run dev. So ChatGPT API, API app, so this is running good. So now we'll be having a secret key to access endpoints. So what are the secret keys? So let's check that out. So if you go and see your on your profile. So if you haven't created your open AI profile, just do it because it will be easy. I don't need to go through that as well. So once you have created it on this link, platform.openai.com accounts API keys, you can create your own API secret key. So if you click it, you'll be having a next key. See, you can click, uh, copy this and close it. So you can't open it again. So you can delete it, the, delete the previous key. Okay, so uh, once you have created, let's name it as open AI secret and that's it we don't need much more on this okay let's import axios for our http requests then import uh, cnv from dot env Uh, env let's configure our uh, our dot env path once it is done let's call our open ai key from node environment because our configuration file is config File is completed. Open your key. It's quite right. So this is wrong. Let's give it as, the, as it is. Yeah. Okay. Let's create a function. Uh, do ask something. AI. This is my AI, you know, so I'm using that input. Try catch Let's give it as async function. So we are going to make async call here. Uh, let result with uh, white axios 
start it is a kind of post api so the api reference if you are going through api reference you will be seeing this thing but we don't need that all we need is completions let's take the references completions we have body actually so what are the body we need to give these things so here content right so let's not give us content here let's give us input right so we, then we have will having these two headers as well let's give that as well content type Appreciation mirror an API key. Let's give here a key. Console dot log result dot data dot choices. Right. let's see if that if our code running good what happened okay let's see if that is not gonna work because we haven't called it let's create an another async function so that we can have the you know uh, list of uh, things all right function chat try catch console dot log this is not console this is a console okay so first I am. Um, I need to do one thing. Let's have it as chat thing. Uh, Console dot log. I'm just giving this thing. User. Mm, I don't need this actually. Let's have this. Where is it? Input. Mm, all right. AI. Right. <laughs> Let's just give this as a notation. Right. So let's call that. Okay, uh, let's have it. Have that fun. White. Mm, let's say hello, and then we'll ask one more thing, which is uh, recommend. Romantic Hollywood movies. Right, let's save and check if that is going to work. Uh, it is not going to work because we haven't called chat. Uh, 
let's not have this let's clear it then save it then run it let's run it object object hello is not working good okay it's not working because it is working but uh, my chat thing is not working okay what is inside let's see role content hello how can i assist so ai object object all right content message first this is an array array of zero has message let's have it array of zero has message dot content hope this will help hello hello may i how may i assist you today it will ask okay then the second question is sure here are some recommendations the notebook titanic sleepless in serial swap so this looks awkward but why because mm, let's remove that and put that on top of the list right first user asks hello hello how can i assist you today can you can recommend okay this is a grammatical mistake i made okay that's what okay sure here are some romantic hollywood movies that i can recommend okay let's ask some more questions as well uh what we can ask uh what about robert downey junior movies so first question i ask hello hi how can i assist you today it, it, it responds back can can you recommend okay i didn't uh, change that recommend um, romantic hollywood movies i i i did say these things what are robert downey junior movies what about i would have asked okay. avengers sherlock holmes traffic all right superb then right uh tell me bit more about okay i didn't ask a question actually so how can i ask to elaborate okay tell me about yourself let's just ask these questions can you recommend romantic hollywood movies it will say let's see i don't have personal preferences or emotions but i can recommend some romantic movies okay here are some notable robert downey junior movies tell me about yourself as an ai model i do not have personal life or experiences however i am programmed to assist and provide information to users in the best possible way cool okay let's not use these two questions let's not use these two as well let's have some fun uh okay uh what are the openings available for chess if you ask this what it would ask tell me tell us okay let's see what are the openings available for chess let's see okay wait a second why this is taking too much time okay my asking a bit larger question no what are the openings yeah there are several openings available in chess including sicilian defenses ruri lopez french defense wow nice okay then let's ask another question so you can do anything you want with your with this api uh what you can ask uh 
do you know the know about taj mahal so i i am i am out of you know running out of ideas to ask with this chat gpt do you know about taj mahal i asked let's see is white marble muslim located in agra india it was built by mughal emperor shah jahan in memory of his wife all right so it's cool that's it this is what i wanted to show you so uh, as we as we have gone through before uh, it provides lot of apis open ai provides lot of apis so if you want to go through one by one you can go on see all are these things end points so uh, yeah this is what i wanted to say hope you enjoyed it uh, that's what i want to want you to do so let me commit to the local git so here if you see guys i just uh, used two functions to make this possible and uh, if you are noting it down i these are all not the apis which i mentioned earlier so you can't use these things as an api so you will need a server a listening server to make these functions as an apis so these are all coming under uh, node js how we can create a api uh, by using controllers or any other frameworks like nest js or uh, the view engines like express js and all but uh, the thing is how we are making api calls which open ai provides so that is we wanted to see so that is we have done now so uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you have some fun with me uh, let's meet in another video uh, please post your comments and thoughts what you think and all uh, i'll reply to you all of your comments and i'll read your thoughts and that's it guys have a great weekend bye